She was clever. She didn't mindlessly step into the forest like the others. Her goal was clear. It was to find the mystical village across the evergreen forest. To do so, she needed to find a wet piece of wood. According to those who had returned from the forest, there is a river that flows in this forest. If I use the river... She quickly removed her clothes as soon as she found the river. Then she placed her clothes in her old sack and lifted her sack above her head. She was going to go into the river. She had planned to ride the river to the sea outside the forest. Without a doubt, it was the most efficient way to cross the forest. The river continued to flow without end, and the skies started to dim. It had already been a long time since her wet body shuddered and her teeth clattered from the cold winds. It was then that she realized something was wrong. This river is not connected to anything. It was too early to quit. She stepped out of the river in an instant and dressed in dry clothes. Then she started to climb up a large tree. She calculated that she would be able to observe the entire vicinity from above. However, what came into her view was something she hadn't expected. Fog. All that she could see was fog. There was no such thing as the mystical village anywhere. She couldn't even see the village she grew up in. She closed her mouth shut and climbed down the tree. The fog thickened, and the sounds of the river flowing had also silenced. Nerves shot through her system. She silently gripped the axe she had brought. Then she ruthlessly started to cut down the trees surrounding her. She believed she could cut her way out of the forest. She thought it would clear her vision. She thought she would be able to see what was beyond the forest. Her axe swung hundreds and thousands of times. The sounds rang throughout the evergreen forest. But those sounds were heard by no one.